In this video, we're going to determine why your pool turned cloudy and give you step-by-step -step instructions of what you need to do to clear it back up again. Hey guys, it's Chad, CEO of Above Ground Pros and founder of Easy Pool Academy. With over a quarter century experience in the above ground business and over 10,000 pools serviced, trust me, I've seen a lot of cloudy pools. And it's usually easy to clear back up, but the first thing we want to do is determine why did your pool turn cloudy to begin with, so then we know exactly what route to take to get this thing cleared up. Now the first thing I want to share with you is at the end of this video, we've got a free PDF download of your step-by-step -step instructions. So hold on till the end of the video and we'll give you a link that you can download this for free and have the instructions right there at your house in front of you. Now the first thing we want to do is figure out why your pool turned cloudy so that we know which route to take. Now there's two reasons you're going to get a cloudy above ground pool. The first reason is going to be high pH. The second reason is going to be microscopic debris that's floating in the water that's causing your pool to look cloudy. So I got two quick questions for you for diagnosis that you can answer these on your own. Number one, did the pool mysteriously become cloudy or milky? Now what I mean by that, did you just wake up one morning and then all of a sudden the pool was cloudy, you know, everything was going good the day before and it just turned cloudy? Chances are, if that's the case, you probably got a high pH. The second question is, was the pool recently green or did it have algae in it and it hasn't quite cleared up yet? Now, this is another main reason for the cloudiness. And a lot of times this is going to mean that you got microscopic debris in the water. We're going to show you how to deal with both of these situations. So the first thing we want to do here, step one, is test our water. Anytime we have a water issue, we start with testing the water. First of all, let's check and make sure our balance chemicals are right. Now for this video, I'm going to assume that your balance chemicals are where they're supposed to be. If not, you need to go ahead and adjust them and get them right, or else trying to clear the pool back up is going to be a lot more work for you. Number two, check your pH and make sure it's between 7.2 and 7.6. Anywhere within this range is going to be fine. Then check your free chlorine level. And I want you to keep in mind what your free chlorine level is because we're going to end up using that number here later on. Step two, if the pH is high, then lower your pH and the cloudiness is going to disappear. Long story short, you throw a lot of white powder in your pool and it dissolves in the water and we can't see it. When your pH level gets high, it ends up turning that white powder back into a white powder. And that's why a lot of times your water will look milky. It's not, you know, it's not so much even cloudy, but it looks almost like you have milk in the water. And that's going to be from your high pH. So if your pH is high, get some pH decreaser, lower your pH, follow the amounts on the bottle that you buy, lower your pH, and the cloudiness will go away fairly quick. Now, if the pH is good, then microscopic debris is your answer. And that's the reason your pool's cloudy. This doesn't always happen just when you turn the pool, when the pool's green or have algae, but it's the most common way. Now, keep your free chlorine level in mind because we're going to use this here in just a few minutes. Now, I want to show you something to explain to you what's going on. Here is a picture of a particle of smoke. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. A particle of smoke is too small. However, when you get a lot of particles of smoke clumping together, then we can see it with our naked eye. And this is what's happening in the swimming pool. You have a lot of microscopic debris that you can't see individually, but when you get a lot in your pool, it starts causing the water to be cloudy. So we got three options on how to clear this thing up, and I'm going to let you decide which option's best for you. Now, number one, if the pool's mildly cloudy, it just has a little bit of a cloudiness to it, but it's not a huge thing, and you have a sand filter. If you have a cartridge filter or a DE filter, this step is not going to apply. This is for people with sand filters, and you just have a mild amount of cloudiness. 
this is what I want you to do. We're going to go with a water clarifier to help clear it up. Now, these are the steps we're going to take. Number one, I want you to go out and backwash the filter. We want the filter nice and clean and ready to pick up all this microscopic debris. Number two, you're going to pour in the required amount of clarifier into the water and just follow the bottle on whatever it says for your size pool. Then run your pump 24-7 until the pool clears up. And make sure you're backwashing once a day until the pool clears. If you don't backwash, if you don't keep that filter clean, your filtration and your circulation are going to slow down and it's going to take a lot longer to clean your pool up. So these are the steps that we're taking. And what a water clarifier is going to do is there's a lot of small particles that can slide through a, a bed of sand, which is basically a sand filter. And they can sit out in the water and float around, cause your water to be cloudy. What a clarifier does is it makes those particles fuse together and become bigger particles so that now your sand filter can pick them up and clear them out. The reason I only use this with a sand filter is if you have a cartridge filter or a DE, diatomaceous earth filter, you're already picking up such a fine particle that this isn't really going to change anything for you. Okay, So this is step one. If the water is mildly cloudy and you have a sand filter. Now, more commonly, we're going to use these next two. If the pool is mild to very cloudy and you're in a hurry to clear it up. What I mean by that is your pool's cloudy and in three days you got a birthday party at your house. Or your aunt and your uncle are coming in for vacation and staying at your house and you want to hurry up and clear this water up. This is the steps that we're going to use. And with this, we're going to use what we call a pool flock. Now, what flock's going to do is we're going to put the flock in the water, and it's going to cause all that microscopic debris floating on the water to become more dense. And as it becomes more dense overnight, it's going to sink to the bottom. So then what you'll do is you'll go out, you'll look at your pool, it'll be crystal clear, but you'll have a, a cloudy film on the floor of the pool. You'll vacuum that out of the pool and you'll be done with it. So here are the steps we're going to take for this. First of all, clean your filter out. Why are we starting with clean your filter? Because you have to have a clean filter. You got to have good filtration and good circulation to help clear this up. Now, if you have a sand filter, what I want you to do is fill your pool up to the highest level possible. And I'm going to explain in just a second why. Then pour in the required amount of flock into the water. And you can follow the directions on your packet of flock on how much you need for your size pool. Then you want to run the pump for about three hours to let that flock get stirred up and circulated in the water. Then you're going to turn off the pump and let the water sit without your pump running all night long. Now what's happening here is the microscopic debris is getting dense and it's sinking down to the bottom. Then in the morning, we're going to come out and we're going to vacuum the pool to waste. Now, if you have a DE filter or a cartridge filter, you can just vacuum the pool as normal. But if you have a sand filter, we run the risk of vacuuming that microscopic debris up and it going right through your filter back into the pool. So what we have is on our filter, we have a waste setting. You know, when you backwash your sand filter, you blow water out of your backwash port. Well, if we put our setting on waste, what's going to happen is, and, you know, hook our vacuum up just like normal, but instead of having our filter on the filter setting like we normally vacuum, you put it on waste. And what it's going to do is it's going to suck that water through your vacuum system, through the pump, into the filter head, and it's going to shoot it right out the backwash port onto the ground. And what this is doing is the waste setting is bypassing the sand so that we can take all this microscopic debris and shoot it right out of the filter onto the ground. Now, the reason we wanted to fill our pool up as high as we can is we're going to be losing a little bit of water as we're vacuuming. So if we fill it all the way up, it gives us more time to vacuum and get all this microscopic debris out of the water so we don't have to turn around and end up flocking our pool again. Now, a little tip for you. 
You want to go slow. You want to vacuum slow because we have a real, you know, mild uh, microscopic debris that's real light, and it's going to you're going to mix it up if you go too fast. So you want to vacuum slow, vacuum it out of the pool. Another tip for you: if you do go too fast, or if you had a lot of microscopic debris in there, and you end up stirring it back up, and it gets in the water and gets cloudy again. Flock stays active in the water for about 24 hours. So if that happens and you stir it back up, you know, you end up getting 80% of it out, but 20% got stirred up in the water again. Turn your pump off. Let it sit for six or seven hours. It'll sink back down. You can come out and do it one more time. But you got to kind of jump on that because flock only stays active for about 24 hours. And then it loses its ability to make that debris dance and drop it to the bottom. Now, here's our third option. If the pool is mild to very cloudy and you're not in a hurry to clear it up. What I mean by that is you don't have a birthday party coming aunt and uncle aren't coming to visit you, you can take a day or two or three to allow this thing to clear up on its own. It's on its own. It's going to be a lot less work for you. So here's what we're going to do. In this situation, we're going to shock the pool and we're going to dissolve that microscopic debris right out of the water. So here's what I want you to do. First of all, clean your filter. Secondly, shock the pool. If your free chlorine level is low. Now, this is where we come back to to remember what your free chlorine level is. If your chlorine level is very low, then we want to shock the pool. What that's going to do is it's going to oxidize um, all the microscopic debris in the water, basically burn that stuff right out of the water, dissolve it, be done with it. The reason I say if your free chlorine level is low, because if you just had a green pool, and your water's not green anymore the next day, but it's real cloudy, Um, you may still have a real high chlorine content and we might not need to shock the pool. If your chlorine content's gonna be real high, then you've already got chlorine in the water that's gonna help eat this microscopic debris up. So we wouldn't really need to shock the pool if our chlorine level is really high. But if our chlorine level is low, or if it's normal, as if, you know, where we keep it when the water's clear, then we want to shock it. We want to get that chlorine level high to eat up all that microscopic debris and get it cleared up for you again. Now, run the pump for 24-7 until the pool clears. It's very important that you keep this pump running and you get this pool cleared up as quick as you can. And here's another key tip to it. Clean your filter twice a day until the pool clears. You got to keep in mind that we're going to be pulling a lot of this microscopic debris into our filter. It's going to be clogging our filter up. And if our filter gets clogged, we're not going to be getting good filtration. We're not going to be getting good circulation. And it's going to take longer and longer to try to clear the pool up. So you will incredibly speed up the process at which your pool is going to clear up if you clean your filter twice a day. That's going to keep your filter clean, keep your circulation strong, and that's what we want. Now in the description, I've got a link for you. I've got this whole presentation for you on a PDF. It's a free PDF. Feel free to click on it. You can take this, print it out, and have it there at your house with you. Also, I wanted to remind you, the biggest problem I see that people have with trying to clear their pools up is they rely too much on their sanitization, their chemicals, or they lean too much on their filtration. Keep in mind, there's three components to every swimming pool out there. That's filtration, circulation, and sanitization, which are your chemicals. We have to have all these three working together. So I really want you to follow these steps, step by step, and 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 this is really going to allow your pool to clear up really quickly for you. Also, we have a three-part perfect pool maintenance training series. This is a three-part video tutorial on how to maintain your above-ground pool from start to finish. This is also a free series we have. Down in the description, I've left the link for you. Feel free to go check that out. So download your PDF, get started, good luck, and let's get that pool cleared up.